Hey everyone, what's up, North Collectors? Here we're opening up a box of 2023 Prestige Retail. These are value packs. You get 30 cards in each pack. There's 12 packs in this box. So let's get right into it. Be a little bit longer video. A lot of base cards in here, obviously, but there's a chance to pull the Starburst parallels, which you can see here, exclusive Starburst parallels. And I believe you can pull some other nice things out of here. So let's look at the back. I think overall, these are not going to be the greatest value from the little I've seen online of these, but you can pull some of the top cards out here. So rookie portraits and state of the art, throwing stars, city limits, yada, yada, yada. So let's get into it. So we can pull anything out of here. Um, looks like we have a car, one of the cards on the back. I think these things are all turned around. So let's Okay, so you go here and you see this is where all the inserts are and oh, right there. So we have one of the Starburst right there. Um, that is going to be Cameron Jordan and then Dobbs or Dobbins, sorry. And then we have our rookies right here. Uh, they're always very hard to read in this cursive print. And if you uh, have not seen it in person, uh, then uh, maybe, you know, you think oh, that's kind of interesting that you can't read it. But uh, it is hard to read on, when you're doing these videos on camera, let alone just um, in general. I mean, I have grew up learning cursive and writing it so I can read cursive. It's just very hard watching or when you're trying to look at the cards on uh, camera and then trying to figure out what the names mean or what the names read. All right, so... This pack number one didn't have anything great in it, but you did get a bunch of rookies in that first pack. So uh, if you're looking for base cards and rookies, this may be the way to go. Uh, we'll look at it at the end. I will show you what you get in here. I'll try to make a couple neat stacks over to the side. But hopefully you guys are doing well. Um, this box was really cheap. I got uh, one of these boxes, uh, or at least a couple of them, 30% off the retail price. So that's pretty solid. And let's see what we have here. If I spoil something, you know, please forgive me. But here's going to be your Starburst. Um, you have a, a Mayor. So this is going to be Michael Mayer and then Kirby Joseph. Now we get to our rookies. And so we have uh, some of the, there's a Bryce Young. Somebody said, look at that. This is... <laughs> His uh, belt buckle, or whatever the heck that thing is, is upside down. The hand warmer belt buckle? I don't know. Uh, pretty funny. I didn't notice that, and then somebody commented about it in the video, and I was like, oh, that's pretty fun. I always like it when you guys comment not only my um, screw-ups of names or, you know, whatever I say. I mean, whatever. Uh, that's fun. But uh, I do like it when you guys point out things that I don't see or uh, things that, you know, you know, overlook the obvious of some kind. So that's always kind of cool. So we have right here a DK Metcalf. And this is going to be uh, one of the Heroes cards. So that's pretty cool. DK Metcalf Hero. I think that's the first Heroes card I pulled out of all the Prestige I've opened, which has been a fair amount, actually. Best card I pulled, though, go watch the short or the long-form video. CJ Stroud um, Portraits. I'll try to put a link at... Um, or yeah, I don't know if I'll put a link to it, but anyways, you can check it out. Um, you can see that card and, you know, it's quite the card to pull out of the set. Obviously, CJ Stroud's having a great year. So here is another rookie. And then we have uh, Judon. And then we get back into our rookie stack. Um, I don't notice any of those to be short prints. So I don't know how many short prints we're going to get out of here, but we'll see. Um, in the end, I'll try to quick flip through those, but we're just kind of flipping through the base here. You guys can see what you get out of one of these boxes. They ran $7, I think, in some sense per pack, and I was able to get them at a very discounted rate. Like I said, 30% off, so I think it brought it down way down to like 4 bucks a pack or something. So kind of hard to beat that deal. That was through Card Giants. Here's a Patrick Mahomes aut autograph. That would have been cool. Um, it was backwards, but no, just a insert youth movement so i'm not expecting much out of these but um some of the rookies definitely worth chasing in here the cj stroud rookie card sell for about five six bucks roughly um let's see here we go here's an eli manning starburst the starbursts do look really nice i always like this parallel and then a deandre hopkins 
And then we have some of the rookie cards here. Followed by a big, huge stack of base. So I'm guessing if you want to build a set, <laughs> this may be the way to go. Because the mega boxes don't really give you that many cards, uh, base cards. Which, if you're not looking for base cards, that's a very good way to bu buy this. Um, and I believe the H2s are kind of the same way. Uh, but uh, this is definitely not a bad way to go. If you're like a set builder or you just want to buy some cheap cheaper packs um and if you could find a sale on them even better all right so we are gonna have a big stack of cards at the end of this and let's see if we can pull anything crazy out of here we pull that our house so that's not anything um too crazy but maybe we could pull one of the more sought after cards there's a hill there is a logan wilson now we get into our rookies there's a nice one anthony richardson definitely one guy when he gets back on the field um who was pretty electric before he got hurt so hopefully he can get back out there um i think he had a season ending injury if i'm not mistaken but all right so the mega boxes have been pretty good but at the same time you have to check out the different formats see if some of these other other things have any sneaky things in them i'm sure every once in a while you can pull something pretty cool out of these but probably difficult i think i did pull an aiden hutchinson out of one of these fat packs last year maybe it was a blaster but i did pull an autograph and that would have been his um passport one uh the on card i did pull that out of retail so that was pretty sweet uh, there's another rookie and a christian watson and now we get into the base rookies see here i don't see so far i haven't seen any of the short prints i know most of the names of the short prints i haven't seen any there he is, Amara St. Brown, uh, for the number one first place Detroit Lions. Go Lions. Uh, yeah, we're from Michigan. Luke has a sports card shop, my son, who does videos on the channel as well. And he has a shop in Manistee, Michigan, up north collectors, sports cards, and more. If you're ever up this way, check it out. And you can check it out via online and look at some of the youtube videos that we take it's gonna be a big black friday sale um coming up next week so gonna be getting ready for that i'm gonna help them out with that that'll be kind of fun um waiting for some more football releases to come out i think the next one i'm excited for is dunruss football that is always a pretty fun uh, one hopefully everybody's in their professional uniforms they should be i don't know why they wouldn't be in that one so there's i mean you get a big old stack of rookie cards but still no cj stroud still still no will levis we did pull a bryce young but i guess if you're going for base rookies this is not a bad way to go all right overall though i think what you get in here is not going to be anything. I think I would spend my money for sure on mega on a mega box before I'd buy a bunch of these packs. But you never know. Maybe we'll pull something good because you get three numbered cards guaranteed per mega box. Here, there's no guarantee of anything, um, and so yeah, is it just a bunch of base cards and whatnot? And you know, hopefully you pull something that's at least halfway decent, but. I don't really know. All right, let's see. Here we have. Is that who is that? Oh, Romeo Dobbs. I couldn't read the name. All right, well, let's see. Jordan Addison. I haven't pulled too many Jordan Addison cards. There's a nice Jameer Gibbs, Lions running back, who's having a very good year. Um, there he is, Mr. Barry Sanders. Now is working with the Lions, doing a lot of work with them. Lomas Brown is too, so some of the old-time Lions. Jason Hansen, I believe. Um, there's another one, same number, but that's Billy Sims. Um, Billy Sims went to Oklahoma, I believe, and Barry Sanders went to Oklahoma State, so kind of interesting. They got two really good running backs from the Oklahoma state of Oklahoma or at least their colleges all right there's a Darren Waller powerhouse so yeah wow these things are pretty brutal I would not have bought these unless they were um, discounted but hey you know uh, this is these are the breaks and 
you never know. Maybe there's something good in one of these last packs. The Starbursts do look really nice, but you got to pull, of course, one of the top rookies, and we haven't done that yet. You're not even guaranteed a rookie Starburst per pack. And I'm just wondering if that Heroes card in the background is going to be our best and only decent card out of here. Um, which could easily be. All right, let's see. Nothing there, just a bunch of base, prestigious pros, and prestigious pros, back-to-back -back Rams, and a, ooh, this is a nice one. So this is, this is a better name. Another Heroes, Justin Herbert. I don't think they'll sell for much, um, usually. I think I've seen them five, ten bucks maybe in there. So, you know, not, not horrible, but not anything crazy. It's not like one of the rare cards and even some of those rare cards in the set don't sell for a ton unless you get a really good name all right here we have a jets and then we have mr jim kelly for your buffalo bills and then we have our rookie cards followed up by a huge stack of base i will say though that prestige base looks much, much better than it has the past few years, which is definitely a nice thing when you're opening these cards. They are actually quite attractive, I think, for base cards for a very, what's considered mediocre to low-end set. All right, and our backwards card there is Living Legends Jim Kelly. All right, we got a couple more packs here. So, oops, sorry about that, bump the camera. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully you are doing well. Enjoying football. There are some good football games this week. Um, I think the Thursday night game is supposed to be good. And then, uh, what was it, Sunday night or Sunday and Monday night? I can't remember. But there are some really good game, games coming up. So check your calendars for those games. This card is miscut. I was trying to think. It was Look at that. It's like a, the edge right there. I don't know. It seems like it's very miscut. Um, I thought there was another uh, card behind it. All right. So... Yeah, the rookies have been plentiful, but no C.J. Stroud, no Will Levis. The C.J. Stroud rookie cards are pretty tough to pull out of this. All right, and we have our inserts and an Ed Reed Living Legends. All right, so you do get a bunch of inserts, and this is the last pack of the box. Let's see what we can pull out of this last pack. Maybe an autograph? Maybe, maybe not. Well, let's find out. Here is um, Spears' rookie card in the Adam Venturi in the Sunburst. Once again, I do like the look of those. Sunburst. There's a Sam Laporta. That's cool. Uh, Banks, and that's it. So now we get to our base stack, which is definitely a lot of base cards. Um, but yeah, so you can see in a whole box of this, I'm going to say not very much unless there's something crazy in the background here, which I don't think there is, uh, or in the back of the pack. I think it's just another insert. It is. All right. So yeah, this is, the stuff is tough. I would definitely stay away from the fat packs. I would be buying mega boxes if you're going to buy retail. And I think for, this is the, but look at all the rookie cards you get though. That is one thing, but. Even so, is it worth the 80 plus dollars you spend on it um, if you pay full retail price? I mean, that's a ton of rookies. So that part is cool. And then all the sunburst parallels, you get tons of those. That's not bad. And then you get all these inserts here, which is a quite a large stack of inserts. And then I won't show you all the base in, in a fanned out format, but... <laughs> Yes, it's not the neatest stack. Let me let me get it straightened up. There we go. All right. There we go. So now you can take a better look at it. So that's a pretty big stack of base. If I can even get it all on camera. Um, and then the two highlights of the entire box were these two cards. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and have fun collecting. We'll see you in the next video. Have fun watching football.